In this question, we're told the diagram shows a sketch of the graph y equals f of x. The graph passes through the points minus 6, 0 and 2, 0 and has a minimum point at minus 2, minus 3. So we have a couple of questions based on this. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the graph of y equals a half x, indicating the coordinates of the stationary point and the coordinates of the points at the intersection of the graph with the x-axis. So first thing just to acknowledge here is just think about what this translation is. f equals half, f of a half x is a stretch in the x direction, since it's in the inside the brackets. Now the scale factor is going to be one, it's going to be the inverse of this, so it's going to be one divided by half, which is actually a scale factor of two. So f of half x is a stretch in this x direction of scale factor two. So what this means for the coordinates is we're going to double x coordinates. So in other words, we're going to say, okay, x values times 2. So we have three coordinates to focus on, minus 6, 0, minus 2, minus 3, and 2, 0. And so what we're going to do is we're going to double each of the x coordinates, so I get minus 12, 0, minus 4, 3, and then 4, 0. Sketching the graph is going to be simple enough. It's the same shape graph. Remember, it's a sketch. You don't necessarily need to make it wider. It's not on the same axis. What I know is it's still going to cut the x-axis in two places. This time, it's going to cut at minus 12, 0. And it's going to cut at 4, 0. Y-axis must be between, so it's going to be closer at that end. And then we're going to get our minimum point here, which we're going to call minus 4. Three. And that is the sketch of our graph complete. Part B says, Aaron Harrod is asked by a teacher to draw, draw the graph of y equals a f of x for various non-zero values of the constant a. One of Aaron Harrod's graphs passes through the origin. Explain why this cannot possibly be correct. Okay, so if we label this a and this part B, simplest way to approach this is that we know whatever this function of this graph is, when I do f of 0, so whenever I put substitute 0 into it, this is not actually equal to 0 itself. Okay, so you can see, looking at this original graph, f of 0 is not equal to 0. Now what we're also told is that we're told that and Harrod should be plotting this graph for non-zero values of the constant a. So we're also told that a cannot be equal to 0. So if neither f of 0 or a is equal to 0, it is impossible that a times f of x can be equal to uh, 0. Because it would require either a or f of x to be equal to 0. OK, let's have a look to see how the marks were awarded here. Uh, first of all, if you got the curve shape like this and that the minimum value was at y equals 3, you got stand alone mark. If you got the x coordinate for this minimum as minus 4, you got a standalone mark. And if you got both the points of intersection, that is your final standalone mark for the graph. Part B, perhaps I should have wrote a little bit of a sentence here, but it's, the explanation is important. So as long as you can identify and have explained that f of 0 is not equal to 0, and a can't be equal to 0, so therefore a of f of x can't be equal to 0, you've got your explanation mark. And perhaps I should have written that out in a full sentence to be a little bit clearer there. Okay, well I hope you understood the answer and how to mark it.